just spent the last two years stuck at home, unable to travel, but now restrictions have been lifted and now you're ready to get going. You're ready to become the globe trotter that you knew that you always were. You're ready to travel the seven seas. You're ready to check out the nine wonders of the world, eight wonders of the world, seven, many wonders of the world. You're ready to meet the love of your life abroad. You might even be ready to study abroad. You might be ready to go abroad to meet abroad. But how can you do that if you have a bad suitcase? Don't worry, that's why I'm here right now today to walk you through the process of figuring out whether or not you need a Ramoa. You might be thinking, that is an absurd amount of money to spend on a luggage suitcase. And I completely agree. But there are a few points that I do want to highlight. And I do also want to mention the reason why I chose to go with Ramoa and why I haven't looked back ever since. This is my review. This is my story. The first case that I bought with my own money was this Delcy on Amazon. Should I show you what I was packing with? So this is what I was working with before. This is called a, a Skyway. I don't know what that means. That is just, it's falling apart. You know, the weight distribution is off. Look at, not stable. So I said, uh, get out of here old suitcase. I don't know, they don't sell this model anymore. They have a different model. It's, it's like, I, don't, I actually have no idea. And I don't remember how much this was, but I think it was under $100. For the average human being with an average salary, this makes sense. And sometimes you don't have to go super fancy. But let me tell you why I decided to upgrade from this to this. I didn't, I, I really didn't mind having this for a while. This really did serve me for quite a few trips. There were a few things that were kind of annoying. One being that this was a zipper enclosure. I just really didn't want to have to zip around the entire circumference to open and get access to my belongings. I really wanted just the latch. So what they call it, clamshell clamp? I don't know what they call these. And then, boom. Being able to open your entire luggage suitcase and click, click, Boom, like that's, that's what I wanted. I didn't want to fucking, I didn't want to have to. Imagine me coming to the ho hotel room being like, oh, I just shit my pants. I need my boxers now. Look how fast that was. I would have been able to just get my boxers and go straight to the shower and, and then no longer be poop stained. Let's run that same scenario with a zipper enclosure. Oh. Pooped my pants. Dude, that was like three times as long. You wanna have poop in your pants for three more seconds? I didn't think so. So there's a real life use case for this. That's why I wanted the latches. So what's inside? What's inside, Zach? Inside you have two of these flex dividers that have zipper pockets inside them. But the purpose of these things are to hold your clothes down so that when you close the case, it doesn't just fall out of place and create a mess. And you might also be thinking, why, why is the Velcro so weak? Could they not find or afford any stronger Velcro? Let me tell you exactly why, because I've been thinking about this for a long time. The reason why they did that is because let's say you have very fragile, panties, or Egyptian cotton t-shirts, or a silk sex gown, or a special knit that your grandmother gave you because she handed it herself. You don't want Velcro to, to snag on it and ruin the garment. That's why, That's this is all intentional. This is a design decision that they made. This is engineering at its finest. Is it German engineering? Where is Ramoa from, actually? Let's look this up. Where is Ramoa from? Cologne, Germany. So it is German engineering, baby. They say it's the best, but I, I can attest to it. Through this piece of, this piece of delight, there has been engineering performed upon this. 
So that was one. Two was that, that although four wheels is better than two, this tilting action is just, it happens more than you'd like. And what that results in is a slanted carrying experience, meaning more weight that you have to carry in your palm. Just, this is just physics here. You guys can do the math. Weight straight up on all four wheels. Two wheels means the weight is now distributed to your hand. I'm in the airport, I'm doing this. This thing is flopping. These wheels, let me talk a little bit about wheels for a second. When you buy a suitcase, you're probably not really thinking about the wheels. You're probably thinking, oh, is it hard enough where like, if I get this checked in, it's not gonna break or get dinged up? Are there secure locks in it so that people don't rummage through my belongings and find my private items? No one's thinking about wheels. Are you thinking about wheels? Maybe you're someone that's always anticipating needs before they're even voiced. Maybe you're that type of person and you have been thinking about wheels. Me on the other hand, I haven't really been thinking about wheels. But my thing that I wanna really push today is that you gotta be thinking about wheels. They have a little bit of this like rubber cushion around them. So it's just so smooth. Let's compare wheels. The wheels. Okay, trust me on this. You know what, don't trust me. Actually go to the store and just roll this thing around. These wheels have ball bearings inside of them, ball bearings. Do you guys know what ball bearings are? They're when little balls are in a big circle. They're in there, they, they told me, and I believe them. I believe them out of experience. I'm not just believing any word I read on their, on their website. It's truly, this is a wonder to me. If I had to describe what it's like to roll a Ramoa, it's analogous to, you know when you, you know when you start cutting, I can't get close to the camera without squatting a little bit. You know when you start cutting wrapping paper with scissors and they start to glide? That same euphoric sensation is very similar to rolling this on a hard, smooth floor. Airport floors are so smooth until you get to the carpet, but this still works great on carpet. It's kind of like torching a knife and cutting butter and then taking that butter and sliding it on a hot skillet. It's kind of like using that same torched blade and making an ice skate out of it and skating on a frozen lake. It's kind of like Michael Jackson doing his moonwalk. It's kind of like me sliding in your girl's DMs. Just kidding, that's, I'm really not smooth and I have zero pickup lines to use. I don't, I don't even, I don't, I've never done that. Across the screen, it's hard for you to comprehend what I'm talking about. You're like, oh, they're just wheels. No, they're not. So let's just talk about the Ramoa now. This is the hybrid. Entire body is made out of polycarbonate and then the corners have aluminum, magnesium. So why did I go with a hybrid versus a classic or an original? I didn't want the full body to be aluminum. It just was gonna be a bit heavier. I think it's a pound heavier. I really bought this for functional use. It's, you know, yeah, it's lighter. I didn't want to take chances of, it, of the body getting dinged up to the point where it would just look atrocious. Some people like that. I think if I bought the aluminum body, I would just baby it more and like, you're not supposed to baby these things. You're supposed to use them to travel. You're supposed to go take your outfits or your dried snacks or your gifts to the destination. I've seen people put plastic wrapping on their Ramoa and I'm like, dude, I get it. I get that it's something that you treasure, but like, just fucking use, just like, it reminds me of when Asian parents buy new electronics and they leave that vinyl screen on that comes with the packaging to protect it and they never take it off. Just take it off. Just take it off, use it as it was intended to be used and enjoy your life. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you always holding back? Why are you always living like, you, like something bad's gonna happen? 
Let loose. Be yourself. So yeah, and it's also cheaper. I wanna get into the real reason why this is staying with me for the rest of my life. When I figured out that I could do this, it, it changed something in me. Something clicked. And it made the travel experience that much better. Like, I can't really demonstrate it, but if I'm on a hard surface, I can walk to my gate just straddling this thing the entire way, and I'm cruising most of the way. So it's act I'm actually not doing this, I'm just kind of like, skating a little bit or I'll like do one push and I'll coast. Because of how sturdy it is, I can use it as a bench. I can ride it like a little scooter, like a Vespa. I can use it to rest my weary head. You guys don't understand the importance of that feature alone. That feature alone, I'm dropping bread, factually. And I know it looks a little bit silly, but try it. If you, if you are an owner of a Ramoa, try it next time. I don't know your height or your weight. It'll still be able to hold you. The reason why I have decided that using a Ramoa is worth it is that... You know what? I actually don't know if it's, I don't I don't know if it's worth it. I don't think. No, 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 no. I take that back. I take that back. I'm I'm just a little nervous in front of the camera. I would recommend this because I, the first time that I took the case with me to the airport, and that motherfucker just was gliding on the floor, is what keeps me sane when I travel, and. Somehow it has made the experience of lugging this around enjoyable. So there's my review of the Ramoa Hybrid Cabin. If you thought this was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't think it was helpful, click the subscribe because the next video, I promise it will be, I, I promise it will be helpful. If you felt indifferent about this video, like and subscribe because the next video you are going to like it and you're going to want to subscribe.